With an entire multiverse of heroes to choose from, and now the MCU opening up the world to the multiverse, things are going to get a lot more hectic, and heroes that aren't typically found in the 616 are going to be tossed around. One hero that's been brought up thanks to Far From Home is Spider UK, and I think you guys should know a little bit about him. William Braddock is a member of the Captain Britain Corps, and on his Earth is Spider-Man. His first appearance is due to Morlin and his spider-killing family going through the multiverse killing different spider-people. The thing is that while the Great Hunt was going on, a bunch of killers known as the Beyonders were going around ending realities, and the Great Hunt didn't rank as a priority. Regardless, Braddock gets permission to save the spiders, and a team is formed. A team of epic spiders that choose to fight back against the Totem Eaters, and with that, the Spider-Verse begins to expand. He recruits some familiar faces like Spider-Woman and meets some new ones like Old Man Spider-Man and Spider-Girl. Before long, Spider-UK has put together a very impressive team of spiders and even finds a version of Peter Parker that is cosmically powered. You can imagine just how shocked everyone is when Big Daddy Spider-Killer shows up and drains the cosmic spider of his power and kills him. Not exactly the motivation you need to keep fighting. But even with all the different Spider-People from the Spider-Verse, they can't actually kill the Inheritors, or more likely, being spiders, they don't all see killing as a good option. Instead, with the help of various people, they manage to trap the Inheritors on an Earth that has an environment tainted by nuclear fallout, and it works. Go team! For a long time, the Inheritors are trapped. They can't feed, they can't jump into clone bodies since some spiders blew up their factories, and for a time, all is good. Spider UK also creates a new team that he calls the Web Warriors to patrol the Spider-Verse and help the worlds that lost their spiders during the Great Hunt. He teams up with some recognizable spider people like Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man Noir, and Spider-Ham. But because Spider UK's world is destroyed, his base of operations is in the Inheritor's old base, Loom World. While guarding the universes, the Inheritors use the pile of security drone robots that keep coming to check up on them to break out of that world and escape to Earth-616. Side note, Otto Octavius thought it would be a great idea to use their cloning machines to secure his own safety during his new life of violent heroism. The Inheritors take advantage of this, escape the nuclear world, and work on getting their revenge on all spider totems. In an attempt to cut them off before they can cause multiversal damage, Spider UK and his spider homies intercept them at Otto's lab. But with all of the Inheritors spawning back to back, one of them gets the drop on Spider UK and snaps his neck. A lot more spiders die during the Inheritor's second attack, but eventually, they are stopped. To put the people who love him at peace, Spider-Gwen goes to another Earth and informs them of his death. A lot of people regard 616 Peter Parker as the center of the web for the spiders, but thanks to Spider-UK, dozens, if not hundreds, of spiders were saved and given a fighting chance during one of the worst times of their lives. Not only that, but he went above and beyond to keep fighting for worlds that didn't have spiders anymore. With any luck, William Braddock will return through some spider magic. But for now, the Spider-Verse mourns the loss of such an exceptional Spider-Man. Let me know what you guys think about the amazing awesomeness that is Spider-UK. And who do you guys want to hear about next? If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and check out more videos here on the channel because there are a bunch of them. And do not forget to hit the bell notification so that you know when we post new videos. Thank you guys for just being amazing, the support, watching, doing all the stuff that you guys do, and I hope that I can make this channel something that you guys are proud to come back to all the time. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.